Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, we are going to see how you can track interactions uh, as a notation within uh, Map to More Analytics. So you may wonder um, first, how is it possible? The answer is thanks to the API and two, um, how could it be useful? Well, <clears throat> I know that interaction happening on your website, you may measure them through events, through goals or whatever other possibilities. But the advantage, or at least the point that I'm seeing uh, to send an annotation every time that um, an interaction has happened is that it is very visual and it may be useful if, uh, for example, there are things that you don't want to track, uh, neither as event, neither as goal, or which are really happening uh, very few times on your website and that uh, you would like to track as an annotation. So to say, it's always useful to know that it exists. Um, in order to do so, uh, you will need to use the API, the Matomo API, which by chance is uh, really easy to understand. So you just need to type over here, uh, API reporting Matomo, and then you will see uh, over here that you have the full uh, documentation explaining how the API is working. So that's uh, that's the link uh, that you should access to. And then within the, um, so it's under the, in our case, that's the reporting um, API reference. And then you're gonna play with the one which is named uh, annotation. So the one which is over here, and you're gonna use the add method, okay? Uh, that's the first thing that you need to know. Uh, the second thing that you need to know is that you need to use PHP because by using the API, you need to disclose your um, your token, your identifier token, which is of course a high issue in terms of security. So that's the reason why uh, you cannot use the API by using JavaScript, okay? You have to use a server-side language for that. And that's uh, the reason why we're gonna use uh, PHP here. Okay, uh, so um, let, let's let's make it. So uh, in my case, I have a website and this website is uh, the following one, okay? I have uh, my website where I have my web page and let's imagine that I would like to track uh, the number of people which are clicking on this given button uh, named print and I would like to track it as an annotation. So if I look at the source code of my page, um, I don't have much, I did it on purpose. I just have one button, which is in fact a form, which is sending to a page, which is uh, under a slash PHP, and which is named index.php as a get uh, method. So that's uh, that's what I did. And then on my uh, page, which is index.php, which is under uh, the PHP folder, this is what I have. So I have my PHP code, here I need to send as an annotation the current date because the interaction will happen on the current date. So I need to create a variable which will pick up uh, the date according to the format which is expected for the API. Then I have a variable uh, which is the, the following one. So it's in fact uh, the URL, okay, uh, which is which is called. Uh, which is uh, the instance of my Matomo hosting the data. Then I call the module API. Then I'm using the method that I was showing you some seconds ago, which is annotations.add. Then I'm going to send that uh, within the ID site number one for the date of today. And then the not uh, is going to be, um, let's say, print floss marketing school. So I'll go for print floss marketing school like this. Uh, here's my token. So for the token, what I did is that I created a specific user. I could have done otherwise, but just for security reason, what I did is that I created um, uh, a user within my instance that I named write API. I could have called whatever other name, but I just want to clearly show uh, within my Matomo that the one using this specific feature uh, with the annotation is not myself and like this I could easily identify if I got uh, any security issue or anything like this because that won't be my credential which have been stolen by the one of the right API. Uh, so it's the, the token and then I have a redirect in order of course for the end user to never see this page. Okay, so let's save this and let's uh, just uh, double check that I don't have any annotations for, this, for the date of today. 
which is carrying the uh, print floss marketing school so here as you can see i do not have any and uh, i could even refresh the page to show you that i'm not cheating at all uh, so i refreshing the page and let's look again at the annotation okay so so far i don't have any uh, which is about print floss marketing school and now if i access to this given page that i created which is uh, this one so imagine that this is your website this is the interaction that you would like to, to track the click on it so i click on it uh, what happened as you can see the page has been refreshed what it what it did is that you went on the page which was a uh, train slash php slash index dot php and then you went back on this given page so uh, for the end user it didn't really see it unless um, unless let's say your user is in fact scrolling down the page and then clicking on this button then you will know that actually the page has been refreshed but in my case um, it has not been uh, seen and now if I look at the date of today, I should see uh, that uh, someone actually um, clicked on this given button and that an annotation has been uh, has been created. So let's uh, let's now check it. Wow, and that's it, print floss marketing. So, and that's it. That's what I wanted to, to show you that you have the possibility uh, with Matomo to track interaction as annotation. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.